So the Bernoulli effect is when you have uh, vortices of air going over a surface, they actually push in this way. And so if you have if you have an even airflow going around something, you'll get forces pushing this way, this way, this way, this way, so the ball will just stay in the center. The Bernoulli effect has inspired Todd on Team Crash Space to come up with an idea for a new ride in Gravity's Carnival. I was thinking, we've got this whole amusement park carnival thing, it really needs a roller coaster, and we've got that dust collection system that can pull a good suction on it. How tall do you think it could be? I don't know, it depends on how much tube we, how much tube we can find, but maybe like, uh, maybe 40 feet, maybe 30 feet. Oh wow, yeah. oh, that would be really funny, that would be really... <laughs> That's going to be fantastic. Yeah. The roller coaster is a tube system. There is on one end a dust collection system. It produces a suction that pulls stuff through the series of tubes. On the entrance, we have a collection of multicolored balls that represent passengers in a roller coaster ride. The passengers are sucked through the tube, and when they get to the end, a little truck is being propelled by the output air of the dust collection system, and that triggers the flame escape and merry-go-round. I don't have the same skill set in building things that the other team has, but we've got some pretty cool things that demonstrate various physics properties using the materials that we've got in our little pile of toys. And let's see if it works. <laughs> ha! Look at this. So, so it looks like I saw two issues. One is that you had to move the, the hose around to get the balls to the get in. The balls were jamming up. There yeah. were like two of them would go in and yeah. stick. So we either have to feed them in a linear. Or use smaller balls. So I need a little bit of thinking. Figure out how to actually make the balls evacuate from the tube. The failed roller coaster test has Team Crash Space way behind.